Let's do your shave, you will shit your time to go. We're gonna build some shit and we will make it snow. Yes. Hey, Val, okay. Hey, Charlie. Let's do some building! Building! Oh, um, well, we still, we're still still not... Oh, you know what? I have still haven't done that fence box. I said the last episode I was going to do that, and I didn't do it. Yes, it's your fault. Not mine. Oh, the dog! Sorry. No. I did go yeah. do some branch mining, though, down there. Well, not really branch mining yet. I just dug a tunnel. Yes. Anyway, we are going to try and figure out how to build this mob trap. Ah, <sighs> it's still raining, Charlie. It's rain and rain. Hallelujah, it's rain and rain. It's lame. And we, we didn't leave the windmill on or anything, did damn we? Damn feet. Oh my god, get something to eat. Got taste your sandwich. So, oh yeah, Charlie, there's something else we needed to do. What do we need to do? Um, right, Flower Child has asked us to find out. The strata. If the strata was really screwed up. Like we, okay, well, like we thought it was. So hang on, I've got to make some more ladders. Oh, and I just discovered I can make cheap fences by with three moulding. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, how do we dig down safely? Uh, I'm just going to make some ladders, and then we can ladder our way back out. Okay, remember. Well, it's don't, probably a one-man job anyway. Don't dig straight down. I'm going to dig straight down. But you could die of lava. I'll be fine. So... I'm pretty certain this chunk over here was loaded. Oh. What? <sighs> Spider jockey. Don't worry, I got it. Alright, you defend my area. So I'm pretty certain this is where the windmill was, so this chunk should have been loaded. Yeah, this one oh. right here. So I'm going to dig down here and have a look. Defend me, Charlie. Where'd you go? Oh, the windmill, right. I'm right here. Just um Oh. Be very, very careful. You could have dug down in our base. Down. You know what this isn't as safe as in vanilla, because obviously in vanilla I can jump up, can't I? Nah, it's still fine. It's fine. Remember do the one two. One forward, one back, one forward, one back, one forward, one back. Hello down there! Hello. Have some wheat. It's gonna get a bit dark down here. Did you get your wheat? I'm there, gonna feed you. Oh, there. there's Strata. Oh. Okay, there? so why the hell is that other chunk like that? Don't forget, it's a different uh, mirror. Okay, sorry for that, Chad. I, mm, I don't know. We have no clue be doobie. Shall we go? Well, we can go investigate that other chunk if you wanted. No, we must out build. What we the must... hell is wrong with that? We gotta build some stuff. Yeah, we do need to build some stuff today. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll get this coal later. Make love Why to do each... we have to do this in fucking darkness and rain, Charlie? Can't we just wait it out? I guess we don't really have a, as much time today, guys, to uh, record. No. We have so, to hurry. Yes, we have to hurry and okay. do things quickly. Now. So, mob trap. I still don't really know how to do this because we don't really have access to um, pumps to pump the water up. Could we just, like, I don't know, fill out an, air, fill out an area of water and case it and just... Yeah, we're going to have to do it inside the Bro. ocean, which is kind of a pain in the ass, and I don't really know how to do it. So I guess the first thing we need to do is figure out how to collect the monsters together once they come down. This is a good starting point, Joshi. For there. Smart. Yes. So how are we going to do this? Imagine there's a pillar, a tower. Yes. The mobs are going to drop down, and we need to get them into water streams that will collect them to one point. Well, we can dig, so we, can we can build straight up so far. Yeah, but There's we need no... this water. We need the water from here to push the mobs into one place. How do we do it? Because hmm. I don't freaking know how, how you're meant to do it without buckets. I can figure out how to do it if I had like a tower and I could pour the water down. Hmm. Which is what we're going to do eventually. But we can't do that until we get the iron to make the pumps. Maybe we should get some iron instead then. 
No, no, we no, we need the mob traps to get the iron. That's the whole point. Okay, let's, let's, let's just ever. let's just start building and see how things happen. Okay. Well, we'll if, you want, if you want to leave this to me, you can um, start building a chicken coop. Awesome! Chickens! Where should I build it? Upstairs? Downstairs? If you, well, you need to make a hopper. I don't really mind where you do it. Okay, how do you make a hopper? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll make one for you. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn it. We don't have any corner pieces left, do we? And that, you need to cut that into corners, but you have to wait until the rain stops. Alright, I am going to put the mattock away for safety. Safety purposes. And the shears. We are yourself. still harvesting vines. That's going to take us a, a while. We got your vines. Now, I'm going to grab a load of cobblestone and just start playing around in that water and see if I can do something with the water streams. I'm going to build a uh, thingy upstairs. In fact, I've got an idea. I'm going to go get a load of uh, white wood. I think I have a, a vague idea of what we're going to do. But basically, I need to make like a basin. Where is all of the uh, birch wood? In the bottom bottom wood chest. Is there a lot of it? Um, yeah, you need to cut it up though. But like I said, wait for the rain. Don't worry. Okay, how shall I do this? Let's see. Let's start by going out a little bit further. Now, if water flows eight blocks from the source. Right, so my idea is I'm going to leave the edges of the water here all the way around and then holler or clear out the inside square and that way it will create a water stream that will go into the middle and then from the middle like above this we're going to build a, a mob trap tower that will drop the mobs down into the water streams mm. they shouldn't take any damage but although we can if, crush if them. they do it doesn't really matter and then we'll collect them all in the middle we'll have to go underneath this is where our collection point will go I think this will work. No reason why I shouldn't. But yeah, like I said, or I was saying, our plan once we have this mob trap going, or my plan, is to get uh, build up our iron reserves and make lots of um, screw pumps. And then we're going to make a water tower that pumps up water to like, I don't know, 40 blocks into the sky. And then from Ash. there, we'll make water channel water streams that go out and go to each of the different buildings that need water. So we'll have our windmill uh, grinding station. Okay, so underneath, I need to go underneath. The problem with doing this is you have to be very careful not to destroy any of the water. <laughs> if you destroy yeah. the water source blocks, then you got to start oh. over. So I have to Can be I very draw? careful here. This should look awesome. Okay, I'm gonna build a chicken coop, but it's gonna be passed through the vines. So you have to walk through the vines like a little curtain. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, it just needs to be a small little thing, Charlie. Just have a hopper with a chest underneath it, and have the chicken standing on top of the hopper. Ah, actually, when you throw seeds in, they would go in the hopper, wouldn't they? Not if you filter them out. Oh, she am a genius. Can you filter? Is there a filter that will let the eggs See? through, but not the I seeds? I don't think you can get eggs in anyway. Uh, no, no, you don't. You want the eggs to go into the hopper. Yeah, no, we just need to find the right one. Yeah, but you need to filter out the seeds. I don't know if there is a a filter that does that. You'll have to play with them and test them. All right, we'll do. So, I'll if not, you'll have to think of a different way of feeding them. Oh, green stops. Oh, wait a minute. Just realised. What? I can't have these corner pieces of water because otherwise it will just uh, create an infinite spring and flow into the middle, which is not right. So I'm going to have to do a little something here. What would be 
the best way to do it would actually be to do it a layer lower. I can't do that now. Oh well. But yeah, you can't have these corner pieces. Um, I need a load of dirt. Hang on a sec. I'm going to get a load of dirt and a shovel. I'm trying to save the matic right now for um, underground digging because we don't have enough tanned leather to uh, to remake them. I understand completely. So I'm saving that for deep underground. Do you want to maybe cook some of that stone and make it smooth stone? Make it look better? No, because you matches the curtains. Okay. Right. Okay. Do I'll let you do it. I'm, just... I'm a believer in that cobble is a lovely looking block, despite what people say. Oh yeah, I like cobble. It's just... People point and snigger behind cobble's back, but I like it. You need to use it in a certain way, I think, as well as you have to combine it with different blocks to make it look good. You can't, you can't just have cobble on its own. That's what the white wood is for. Alright, white wood's good. Yeah, sorry I didn't make the fence, guys. I just uh, I haven't had a chance to play today yet, so I only just got on. He's lazy. I was That's gonna really I was gonna do it earlier, but I, I yeah didn't. <laughs> I will do that though. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in this inner square with dirt, and then clear the dirt out, and that'll get rid of the water. Ah, but like I said, I forgot to make the shovel. Damn it! Can you bring me a shovel, Charlie? I can't get your goddamn ship, I'm busy. Damn it, okay. Gotta make the chickens their palace. Right, so yeah, you can't have these four here water source blocks because otherwise it would flow and create an infinite spring. So I'm gonna have to do that. Which means the actual target for where the mobs are gonna drop down to is actually here, which is not a huge square. It's only. It's only 13 by 13. So this is going to be a very thin mob trap. Don't suppose, worry, we I don't suppose I can remake it. There's always room for expansion. Should well, we can there? expand it upwards to layer just under 128. You don't want to go over 128. We don't. Yeah, there's a thing with uh, the way mob spawning works where if you build above layer 128 um, then it will load the chunks above like the upper layer of the world and you don't want those chunks loaded because otherwise it will cut down your mob spawn rates oh I see what was I okay. making? I was making a shovel is it going to look like a giant casing for the chickens? they're going to look so lovely Gwendolyn's gonna get her own little place in our base, though. Cool. Not with the other chickens. Okie dokie. Yeah, don't kill Gwendolyn. Leave her in our base. We'll find her a nice spot. Okay, let me get rid of that one. You know what I just realised? What? If we get a silk touch pick, we can silk touch ice and place the ice and get water source blocks like that. Oh my god, how much do you need for an ice pick? I'm so touch, you know. Well, you might get one that level 30 inch on. Yes. Is that right? Because what would be the point in the screw pumps? I don't really understand. Uh, laziness. I think maybe the ice won't actually make a source block though. Maybe. It might, it might just break into a thingy. Uh, I guess we'll find out. In fact, we can go find out. Oh, I don't have a silk touch. Pick. I think it does if you melt it or break it. I don't know. No, no. Look, there's a snowy biome over there. Let's go find out if ice breaks into water source blocks. Okay, hang on. Give me a shake. Because no, if it does, that would be much, much easier than this. Well, I don't know, actually. We need, a, we need an XP farm before we can make silk touch. Alright, there's the dirt layer in. I want to go investigate this ice thing, so hang on a sec. I'm going to make a boat and head over there and have a look. Because really, those those water pumps are expensive, whereas silk touch is really not 
that hard to get, really. No, it's not. Hey, look, there's some ice right here. How many hoppers do I need? I think a few. Okay, so how'd you make your hopper again? Yeah, look, that breaks into water source block. Oh. Well, flower child's gonna change that soon. Maybe, I don't know. Can you actually get a silk touch thing? Can you get ice with silk touch there? I suppose those water stream things are useful for turning water streams on and off. But you can just use pistons for that. That would be much cheaper. But if you use pistons, you're limited in space in some ways, I suppose. But the water, the water um, pumps require mechanical power, so that takes up even more space. So I, I don't know. Maybe one of our commenters can explain why would we, why would we make a, uh, or why would we use? They're gonna say something like, "You guys are so smart! I can't believe I didn't think of that." No, I don't think so. You guys are geniuses, yeah, especially what? Charlie. Charlie's genius. So very good looking. Do, do, do. Well, we're doing it this way this time anyway, because we don't have silk touch and mm. no way of farming XP right now. How do you make a uh, hopper? So this first beginner mob trap we're building here, Charlie. It's just uh, it's probably going to get ripped out one day when we have loads of iron and we can make pistons and make a proper mob trap out of pistons. That is perfectly understandable. So I'm not too worried about the way it looks right now, which is why it's mainly being built out of cobblestone. I think everything we're building at the moment is temporary and will remain temporary for a while. Okay, I've got six hoppers. It's gonna be so cool. We need to make a smelting area, Charlie. We need like lots and lots of furnaces. Blacksmith got it. You can do that uh, after you've done your chicken coop if you want. Crap. Because I want to, I want to cook up tons of stone so we can build out of uh, smooth stone and stone brick and stuff like that. I mean, why not? Where are our torches, by the way? I think I got most of them in my. Oh dear. What? Might have left a load of freaking nether coal in the furnace. <gasps> I mean, not the furnace, the cauldron. Yeah, shit. Okay, we're kind of lucky that if you have the nether coal in there, it doesn't blow up when you stoke it. Here you go, Charlie. Oh my god! That was almost very dangerous. Okay, so when I let this water stream out, this will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's the center. And then 1, 2, 3, 7, 8. That's the center. So the mobs are going to get pushed to here. Right? Yes. Right. Now, that's not going to work very well, actually. Thinking about it. I mean, it's only a one block drop. I suppose I can, I can fix that later. I can put some, like, signs up and make the hole bigger, and then they can drop down more. Perfectly understandable. I like your thinking. But anyway, this is where we need to start building our collection point, Charlie. And okay. setting up a killing... Some way of killing the mobs. I'm not really certain how to do it. How should we do it? With hard work. Comes uh, We could set up a saw blade to chop them up. Yes, we we could set up a piston to crush them and then throw potions at them to finish them off. That sounds like a plan. Um, how else could we do it? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, wind? Earth? Oh, fire. We could make a hibachi grill and fire them yeah. to death. Will that burn the stuff? Well, no, you turn the grill off before they actually die, so that they they die from the fire damage. Oh! But okay. here's the thing, they only drop the... I think they only drop the equipment 
and the uh, the tools they're wearing if they're killed by the player. We could make a, uh, so a collect you, yeah, well, collection point to whack them. I think if you uh, if you throw a potion at them before they die and like deal damage to them personally, then they will uh, they will still drop the items. Anyway, I'll think about this later, guys, because that's going to take a while to think about. Let's start figuring out how we're going to lay out our uh, spawning pads where the mobs are going to drop down and die. So the way I was going to do it... Hmm. Okay, I'm just... You don't need power to make the hopper run, do you? Like, just get stuff to get put into a chest, right? What do you mean? What do we need power for the thingies for? Like, oh uh, well, yeah, the hopper will just suck up the um, the eggs, so you can just open the hopper. Okay. But if we wanted to move it into like a chest, you'd have to power it. Okay, hang on. I'll put chests underneath them real quick. Yeah. Right. I wanted to have these two blocks apart, but I guess three blocks would do, since I've made it an odd number now. Now how do I power these chests? Huh? Power the chests? Or the hoppers? Oh, with mechanical power. We're going to have to make a water wheel. Uh, hang on a second. That should That's be... cool. Oh, do you need to power... You need, oh, you you need eight, oh. eight leather. Okay. Go melt it down in the stoked cauldron, and you get eight glue. And then you can uh, stick the bits of uh, wood together. Do you want to make some proper stairs here? Yeah, I will do. Oh, I see. That's quite neat. See, I'm very smart. But the eggs aren't all going to go into the hoppers, are they, Charlie? Well, I've covered all the area they can. Most of them. I thought I thought you were just going to do one hopper and have the chicken standing on top. Oh no, we're going to have loads of chickens. I suppose we're gonna lose a bit on the eggs though. It doesn't matter, we get four times eggs though. Yeah. Basic math, let's go! Yo zombie! If you stick a hopper directly in the middle. Yeah, but then we can't run mechanical power by simply just putting it all to here. No, we can. I'm sure we can figure out a way to power them. But if you put it there, or put one more there. Uh, you got a spare chest? I don't have a hopper, no. I've got a hopper, I just need a chest. Oh, right. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh. Don't worry about it, we'll do the chest after, just put the hopper down. Yo, I can get a chest now! Well, what we can do later on when we get our... Uh... Oh, zombie after you. I know. Why is he not burning? There we go. He was in water. Right, we can, um... We can set up some water above this thing, and then pour it down the corners, and then it will flow into the middle. And that way all the eggs will get picked up every now and then, whenever we turn that on. Dad is quite smart. It's good enough for now, anyway. No! I got a good axe. There you go. Yeah, looking, looking pretty good, Charlie. What did I come uh, over here to do? Something about jumping? I can't freaking remember. Mob trap? Ah, uh, I'm going back to the mob trap. I We're going to rewatch the video and go, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to tell Charlie that valid piece of information. Probably. Okay. Probably about cheese. Well, you're doing a good job. I'll leave you to that. I'll mention the channel. So I'm just planning out my... Uh, the formation of my spawning pads. I'm going to do small spawning pads. Yep, they're going to be like this. So, for this mob trap, obviously I'm only going for creepers, zombies and skellies, because we can't do endermen yet, and spiders will just get in the way. Yes. So, the design for the mob trap, I don't know, what's better, planks or, or sidings? Slabs or sidings, I mean. I don't know. Well, this is going to be my, uh, my spawning pads like this, four of them. Very much like one of the oldie style uh, mob traps. 
We're going for the old aesthetics kind of look, people. We don't want none of that modern crap with the huge white walls. Even though... Oh, yeah, we can, build, we can build it out of uh, snow. Snow, shit. Snow is really easy to harvest, especially since we have iron shovels. <gasps> iron spades. Spades, spade. Right, so this is what my spawning pads are going to be like. Obviously, they're going to be up in the sky. And then we need to build a board around them. And then the uh, the vine traps are going to go along the edges of the spawning pads. There's a lot of building in this one. Here's your first hold. Yes. Our first mob trap. I still don't know what's called... Oh yes, Soul Forge. That's what we are holding in the last episode, aren't we? We're going to have to cut your video. We can't spoil it for the viewers. What? <laughs> I said last episode. I've saw oh. out. Take a time travel. So how can we make it look at least a little bit pretty so it's not horribly ugly? Because it's going to be there for a while, even if it is temporary. I don't know. Well, let's build it out of snow and dark wood. Oh my god, we need to get sheep! We do need to start thinking about making a sheep pen, but that can wait. I don't like building out of wall blocks. It doesn't look very, very good. Can you get dyed clay in better than wolves? Dyed clay is 1.6. Oh. And there's no guarantee that flower charts are even going to inc include those. I really, really hope he does, because I really love the dyed clay. It's one of my favourite blocks now. Yeah, it looks more solid and less I mean, wool weird and wool. wool. Wool blocks are just not good for buildings. Yeah, they burn. Well, that, as well as they just don't look very good. The texture isn't good. Yes, I mean, I understand. it's still great to include wall blocks where you can because it's nice and bright and vibrant. But if you want to add colour to a building, the uh, the dyed clay is much better. Yeah. I'm going to set up a snow generator, Charlie. A snow generator? Um, it's a snowman. <laughs> oh! I've already confused him. I was like, what is this magical contraption? Yes, yeah, a snowman. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stick it inside our base somewhere. Yeah. We got it. Oh my god. That means we can name it. Uh, name something else now. Yay. Yay, names. I bet we gotta I... give life to objects. That way it makes it more interesting and fun. That's what it's in there. Oh! What? What? I've just realised these are jungle wood fences. And their fence is made of jungle wood. Oh yeah. Get me some other wood now. Need mouldings. Gotta make all the fences. Awesome. Uh -huh. I didn't know about that. Right, we're going to be using um, the spruce wood for making our fence. Definitely. Okay. You got very excited there for. You. I didn't know about that. That looks, that looks awesome. We've been wanting different coloured fences for ages in Minecraft. Right. What am I doing? Organising myself. Yes. That is what I am doing. Oh, Charlie. Fuck. You're lagging me as well. Well, oh. shit, man. That was lame. That was lame. It's because that one blew up out of nowhere, I turned around and another one blew up. God oh. Damn it! Okay, so... I guess you're gonna start recording today, Charlie. <laughs> or tomorrow. I'll just get home by myself. Yeah, you might as well record it, though. Yeah, hang on a sec. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. That, that really sucks, man. That creeper came out of nowhere. Why do you all got all these iron sh oh, stones? How, did, it, how did that one creeper you? spawn so close? What do you mean spawn so close? Well, one blew up right next to us. Like it blew up over the base, over my little... Yeah, what do you mean it spawned there? Well, it didn't walk there. It might have walked there. Be careful. I thought you were more observant than that. Well, I guess that goes to show why we should have built the fence, or why I should have built the fence. Yeah, why you should have built the fence. 
I was going to do it. I didn't think it was that much of a problem. I've not had any problems so far. Well, you didn't you get none about your creepers? No, By the way, I, I didn't. destroyed the hopper that was attached to the windmill. It didn't, it's fine. Oh, not, I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. How's your spawn look? Pretty flat and yet hilly at the same time. Do you think I should die and come be with you? Or shall I keep working on the mob trap? Does that actually work now? No, it's not. I'll have to teleport myself. Don't do that. We do manly men way. Uh, Hard okay. Well, yeah, this we're just going to wait until Flower Child adds the proper functionality in. Which he said he was working on, but still haven't seen that yet. <laughs> Crack. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do a little bit of building before the end of the episode. Are yeah. you going to try and make a start on getting back, or I'll do you want to leave it? I'll make a start. Okay. Yeah. What time is it? What time is it? In England. Uh, 22, 8. Yeah. Oh crap, you know, I just realised. What? Hardcore darkness. Yes, you're going to have to deal with that. That's why I think you should record this. I'll record, like, when we next play. Or I'll, you need to show up running one day and I'll play. Yep. It's the weekend after all, so... Right, this Good news is, I got hemp seed straight away. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, this will be high enough for the first layer of a mobby trappiness. So, that goes like that. I don't really need that on my bar or that. I do need that. Now, a bit of dirt would actually be useful at this point, I think. I don't know how to go about doing the walls. The walls are going here. Like this. Right? And they're going to go all the way around. Now, they're probably going to have to go uh, a few blocks lower so that the lights cannot get up to the, uh, the spawning areas. And the plan is to do 10 of these layers. It will be about 300, I think. Hang on. 320. Yeah. It's only 320 spawning spaces, but it's no, yeah, it's not really intended to be a really good mob trap anyway. Right, so this is what I'm going to be doing for a while, guys. <laughs> Building. This is what I'm going to be doing. One layer at a time. Fuck oh. oh, yeah, I think you're going to have plenty of fun, Charlie, with that hardcore darkness. Yeah. You've only got a bit of time left in the daytime, Charlie, so get your, get your wood. Yeah. And remember that you can make stone picks for only two stone, so... I mean, I mean axes. axes, axes. So you should make your axe first. Because that way you only have to punch two, two pickaxes worth of wood. That's right. a lot of pickaxes. Yeah, but you only have to punch two, you have to punch less. No. Doesn't matter. Made them both. Oh, okay. Fuck off, cow. Right, so there's one layer, and then this will go up two. I want to know why Flower Child made it so it only costs two for axes, so you can kill animals easier. Yes, because animals are important. OP. And kind of expensive. Cost so much money to take them out to dinner. It's so much easier when they are the dinner. <laughs> Right, so I've almost got one layer of the mob trap done already. That's pretty decent. Did you but get me dying on camera? No, I, I hit the record button when the first creeper went off. So I don't know how that footage is going to look. Right, so there we go. There's one layer. And now I can start on the next layer up. Like this. and so on, and it's going to take me a really long time. So 10 layers is the goal for this one. I suppose once I've once I've done all the layers I have to go through and do all of the vine traps. So like the vine traps are going to go on the edges, along here, and along here, 
I'm on there. And that'll hopefully trick the mobs into falling off. And actually, it might be better to have blocks like a cross shape in the middle. I just I just thought of that. It might be better. Increase the spawning radius, maybe. Come back here. You know what I think they do a lot in uh, mob traps now? I've what? just thought of this. They build the spawning platform, and then they just put a roof over the top, and they don't build walls. Isn't that kind of weird? I'm not certain how the lighting works, but that might be cheaper on blocks. And it also might increase the spawning rates. I don't know though. That might be a better design. Hmm. Well maybe I won't build the walls yet. Maybe I'll just do the uh, the spawning pads and then cap off the roof on the top and see how dark we can make it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, but one thing I am definitely going to do is uh, I'm going to get the water flowing down here so if I fall, I can fall into the water. Does it take longer to mine stuff when you're hungry? Yes. Crap. I'm going to show my goodbyes now. Okay. I uh, died, no. That's so shit. Charlie's going to record his perspective tomorrow mm. of trying to get back. It'll be exciting. And lay but the same time. And I'm going to be working on this, so. Let's see how this water stream looks, though, at the very least, before we end. I think you it can looks always okay. just edit in like a pretend head for me in the corner when it's your view. Just be like, hey. <laughs> I'll just speak to your head and you can talk back to me. Yes, that's perfect. That'll be good. No, okay then, viewers. Uh, there's the water stream. I don't... Uh oh Whoops. Okay, well. I guess I'm stuck down here. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Let me over that. Come on. Dangerous. Okay, there we go. So there's the water stream. I'll be working on that. Next episode, I should have some progress to show you, and possibly fence off the area around the base. Yes. Oh my god, that just gave me a picture spot in. Okay, so see you guys later. Bye, viewers. Bye, bye, viewers. Bye, bye. Bye.